Hey y'all, this is Jeremiah, pastor at Centennial ARP. Thanks for tuning in for today's video devotional out of Proverbs chapter 6, verse 6. Let's consider God's word today. Go to the ant, O sluggard, consider her ways and be wise. We'll come back to this Bible verse and consider it along with the verses that follow. But today, dear Christian, I have a question for you that I pray that you will devote yourself to as you look and ponder upon God's word here in Proverbs 6, verse 6. And it's this, are you humble enough to consider the way of the ant? Are you humble enough? Can you do it? And would you? When I was a young boy, uh, I remember it quite distinctly, a uh, Probably much to the frustration of my parents, I highly desired an ant farm. You know, you always hear the stories, just like gerbils and hamsters, ants always get out of the ant farm, right? I actually think that our ants didn't get out, but I remember this ant farm that was on my dresser. And, you know, the way it was, it was like a slice uh, where you had this oak, this glass uh, wall and you could see into this Ant Hill. Uh, it was the ant's home, and, and 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 the way it was there in that ant farm, you could see all the different aspects of what the ants would do on a daily basis, moving and going and uh, getting things set up and digging and creating. It was incredible. I was mesmerized by this ant farm that I had as a young boy, but uh, I, I wasn't there yet. I, I hadn't considered the ant as the Lord would call us to here in Proverbs 6, verse 6. I, I didn't have the humility to uh, realize that an insect, an ins insignificantly small uh, put it under my thumb and kill it insect was placed in this world for my good and benefit to reveal to me my own sin of sluggishness and slothfulness that uh, that we are called to a diligence in our spiritual existence. And, and it's not to save ourselves. Uh, it's because that's who we are. And that's what we have been made to do is to move and breathe and have our being in the Lord Jesus. But we so often find ourselves couch potatoing in our spirituality and then wondering why it is that we are so discontent, so frustrated with ourselves and falling into deep spiritual depression, even if we wouldn't know how to use those words to describe what it is that we're feeling. Dear Christian, I have that question for you again. Are you humble enough to consider the ant? Or are you still in a place where all you can think about with ants is putting them under your thumb to kill them? Today, think about why God has put them here on earth. It's not just so they can get into the house and eat that honey that you left out on the counter or something like that. It's not so they can bother you on a picnic. It's that they might reveal to you a diligence that we are called to as we put our faith and our trust in the Lord Jesus for salvation, as we are redeemed, as we are born again into a new existence, not of sluggard, but of diligence unto the Lord, seeking after him, picking up our cross, living our lives, moving, breathing, having our existence in God. Dear Christian, can you describe yourself like that? Are you humble enough to consider the ant.